Bill Cosby could spend the rest of his life behind bars for a sexual assault conviction that is front page news in his hometown paper, the Philadelphia Inquirer. Actually, it's front page news all around the country. A jury found the 80 year old comedian guilty of drugging and molesting Andrea Constant back in 2004. Cosby faces up to 30 years in prison. He will appeal the verdict and is still free on bail. He is the first celebrity to be convicted in the era of the Me Too movement. Adriana Diaz is outside the courthouse in Norristown, Pennsylvania, with more on this story. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. When the bombshell verdict was read, some of Cosby's accusers in the courtroom shrieked with relief. It took jurors just 14 hours to convict the man, once known as America's dad. Three of the more than 60 Cosby accusers walked out of the Pennsylvania courtroom Thursday, shaking with emotion following the guilty verdict. I feel like my, my faith in humanity has been restored. Accuser Lily Bernard was there for every day of the two-week trial. I'm so weak with emotion right now and with gratitude that I can barely stand. It was a long and emotional trial for the women who were defeated less than a year ago when another jury deadlocked on the same charges against Cosby. The trial focused on Andrea Constand, who accused Bill Cosby of drugging and molesting her at his Philadelphia home 14 years ago. Mr. Cosby, do you have any reaction? Cosby's always maintained that his relationship with Constand was consensual. Five other women testified that Cosby also assaulted them. I feel free. I feel free. One of those women was Shalon Lasha, who claims Cosby drugged and sexually assaulted her in a hotel room when she was 17 years old. She said the verdict is vindicating. I'm glad that the truth is out. I didn't have a billion dollars. I only had the truth. Shortly after the verdict was read, the district attorney argued Cosby is a flight risk and should be thrown in jail. Cosby lashed out and called him an a-hole. And a jury has spoken with one voice. District attorney Kevin Steele. We hope that this case sends a strong message that the victims of these types of crimes can come forward and be heard. Cosby's defense says it will appeal. We don't think Mr. Cosby is guilty of anything, and the fight is not over. Just hours after the verdict, three more universities rescinded Cosby's honorary degrees. He had to forfeit his passport, and he can't leave the county until his sentencing, which is expected in 60 to 90 days. John. Adriana, thanks.